Hey guys, we have uh, Brian Hoyer here. Um, we have one hand raised, MG. I'm not sure who that is, but go ahead with your question. All right, let's go to Ian Steele, followed by Greg Bedard. Go ahead, Ian. Ryan, just uh, your reaction to getting pulled in the second half and uh, just your thought process uh, in that moment. Yeah, it's disappointing. I mean, you never want to get taken out of a game. Um, but, um, you know, coach made a decision. I understand, you know, just two bad decisions down in the red area really cost us points. So it's uh, it's frustrating. It's, it's disappointing. Um, you know, I got to do a better job. If I could follow up. Um in terms of just the two drives that you had down there in the red area. Um, obviously, we hear a lot from you guys about situational football. That just kind of seems like an example of when that doesn't go your way situationally. Yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I, you know, had a mental error there and just, you know, we had a, a chance to throw the end zone and everyone was off and covered and <clears throat> you just got to throw it away. Okay, let's go with Greg Bedard followed by Eric Rube. Go ahead, Greg. Hey, Brian, um, can you sort of take us through your week this week? Like, how, how many reps did you get during the week? And then um, when did things sort of change? And what was your weekend like once you heard the news about camp? Yeah, I mean, you know, a normal week. And, 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 you know, obviously Saturday morning, find out the news. So it was a whirlwind for all of us. So so you didn't, you, you didn't get a, a normal number of reps? You, like, you got backup reps all week? I mean, I'm not going to, you know, discuss it. It really doesn't have anything to do with it. But, um, look, you, when that's what the job is. When you get called to go, you got to be ready to go. Okay, one follow-up. The, the, the drive before the end of the half, did you did you know that you didn't have any timeouts left? It looked like you signaled for one. What was going on there? Yeah, no, uh, Josh, Josh said to me in the helmet, let's take a shot and no bad plays. And, uh, like I said, I looked and, you know, I, I knew I was in the pocket, so I didn't want to, you know, touch the ground. Um, I just got to do a better job of just throwing over someone's head. Okay, let's go with Eric Group followed by Mark Daniels. Go ahead, Eric. Brian, that play, you know, is that is any of that a result of being maybe tired from the day of travel, or is, is that just something that got away from you? No, it just got away from me. Okay, go ahead, Mark Daniels. Hey, Brian, just how stressful would you say this weekend was? You guys find out, obviously, Cam was sick, you know, the things sort of get shut down, game gets delayed, you travel at the last minute, just sort of how stressful were these last, you know, 72 hours? Yeah, like I said, it was a whirlwind, but, you know, that's just the world we're living in in 2020, and um, you just got to try to make the most of it, and, um, you know, I had nothing to do with, you know, the, the bad plays that I had. Thank you. Okay, I think, uh, is anybody else on? I uh, don't see any other hands raised. Are there... Trey, go ahead, Trey. Followed by Mike Rice. Brian, just the, the way the game unfolded and, and some of the missed opportunities tonight, it, is there a sense of, you know, we had a chance, we let one get away? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I look at it, I, I, I cost us, you know, at least six points. So, um, you know, got to do a better job there. And, and we knew it was going to be a tough game that was going to go for 60 minutes. And we had to be physical with them. I thought we did a good job. The line did a good job obviously running the ball with protection. So, you know, definitely missed opportunities there. Okay, let's go with Mike Reese. Brian, I, I can go back and grab it if you answered it. I sort of hopped in as we're jumping between rooms here, but did you at, were you asked about the third quarter um, strip sack and what yeah. you saw in that play? Yeah, I mean, it was just trying to step up. Um, you know, obviously we're in field goal range and I was getting ready to throw it, and, you know, you just got to do a better job of uh, protecting the football. And uh, just a quick follow-up, just the, the human side of this day, starting early here at the stadium, you know, flying out, quick stop at the hotel, game, and now coming back. Um, what type of toll does this take on you guys just from the human perspective? I mean, look, it is what it is. I think a lot of people in 2020 are dealing with a lot of, you know, crazy things, ups and downs, and, Look, we signed up for this, and this is this the way it played out. And, you know, regardless of the situation, you know, that, that had nothing to do with those two plays. I just got to do a better job. Okay, we're going to take one final question. we got Dan Roach. Go ahead, Dan. Uh, Brian, just if you could sum up 
uh, your opportunity tonight. Obviously, the road formula is what it is, and, and you guys had some opportunities, but you, you turned the ball over and, and some of the things you talked about. How frustrating a day was this as much as you've been looking forward to this opportunity? Yeah, I mean, frustrating. Obviously, you know, you, you can't turn the ball over, especially when, you know, you're that low in the red area. So it's it's disappointing. It's frustrating. It's all those, you know, combined. Okay, guys, thank you, Brian. Appreciate thank your time. You. Thank you, Brian.